a lot of things are a thing now. Yeah. But um so right yeah, now I mean, you now have you have a pursuit, you have goals. Um we're working on those and stuff. So you train bird dogs. Mm-hmm. I want to get into that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, here it is. I mean, that's kind of where the tragedy of Daniel dying, you know, through that, but this is something you still pursue, you know, that that bird dog, you create the kennel and things like that. You train bird dogs. Yeah. I don't know that I'm creating it. So that was part of like what I feel like God's response to me, like this is the direction you need to go was I, I've been following a guy for a few years and like this dude's like the best trainer. I'm wearing his hat right now. Actually, this is like the best dog trainer. Him and his wife are the best dog trainers in the world. Yeah. Like these dudes can literally watch a dog get out of a vehicle and be like, this is what it needs. And you're yeah. like, how in the, like, how did you do that? Right. Um, also a very godly man. Yeah. Um, who I go to Which for advice. Which there is, there seems to be a yeah, pattern. There, there's a have. pattern because my yeah. support base is all that. And God worked through those people to give me the answer that I needed, mm-hmm. right? To go forward. And so, or to force me into the answer he wanted. One of the right. two, right? Like, that's okay. I prefer However, that. The end yeah, I prefer that. Yeah. Like, just take, take your, have your way with me, man. Um, but like, I've been following this guy for a while and we were actually with them doing a clinic when all this happened. We were on a day off, but um, when all this happened. And so I remember them calling me and being like, is it the point of this is I'm not actually creating a kennel like that their kennels already established. Um, Right. And so he, he calls me up after the accident, after the funeral and all that. He's like, what are you going to do? Or actually, I think we were in person. I think we were hanging out. I don't, I don't remember, really remember the conversation. I remember the conversation. There's a lot of foggy days. in there. Yeah. There's a lot of foggy. And so um, I was like, well, to be honest with you, I think, I, I think that the direction that I need to go is I need to keep training dogs because I can't figure out another way that I can be home with my son and raise him. Like instead of strangers raising him, Mm -hmm. Um, the way that I need to and, and give them the time they need and still make money. You know what I mean? Um, to live. And that's a reality. Yeah. And that's a hundred percent reality. Like, like bro, don't think the world like, doesn't uh, stop. Well, not only that, like uh, the people that are like, Oh, I'm just not going to work. God will provide like that's dumb. Yeah. Like, no good luck with that. God will help you. He's not going to give you stuff. Just like, you yeah. know, like I'm, I'll help somebody do something. Like I'll buy them dinner or a suit so they can go to job interview, but I'm not going to pay their salary. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think, I think that God does the same thing. And so, and they're like, okay. And you know, and I told him, I was like, man, to be honest with you, like, I would love just to be an offshoot of your business. And he literally looks at me and he's like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> and I'm Which like, awesome. yeah, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Um, and I mean, not all that's official at this point. So I'm not going to get into like who it is or what right. any of that, but, but, um, like those people have already helped me so much. Like to that point, like yeah. my entire training program is based off of their training program. Yeah, because they're the best. Like everybody's like, why don't you create your own? I'm like, because the best already exists. Like, why do I need? I don't need to create my own. Like, just learn yeah. from the people that are already really I good. I see that a lot in. Uh, I see it in the shooting world too. Exactly mm-hmm. the shooting world. It's like, you know, everybody's always trying to recreate the yeah. wheel, and it's like, yeah. hey, you know, don't. the fundamentals are the fundamentals. You know. Yeah. Now. Which you throw we'll we'll go down that road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to talk about fundamentals yeah. with the guy that doesn't like them. Yeah, we'll go down that road. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Well, I think they're. I think your fundamentals are fundamentals. Yeah, they the are. real ones. Yeah, you know? they are. So they are. we'll go down that. Yeah, hundred percent. And so, like, I, and I'm looking at it like I look at everything with like pace. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. freaking, you got your primary, alternate, contingency, emergency planning. Like everything in life. Like if I'm going to the grocery store, I have a pace plan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, be it for like an accident in front of me where I have to take a detour or be it for like an active shooter in the store. Like there's a pace plan, um, um, involved. And so like, same thing in this, like, I'm like, man, I gotta have a pace plan. So like, even if I do this, um, and get it off the ground and, and he's basically like spoon feeding me, helping me get off the ground, which is those people are amazing. Um, um, but even if I do all that, like, I I still have to have a backup plan. You know what I mean? Like, cause what if I don't have client dogs coming in? Um, every month. And so my backup plan, like, was to, uh, I've got, you know, we bought the property, mm-hmm. we're building the kennel on it, and on the other side of the property, we built a range, and we're teaching, um, uh, like, firearms classes, you know, once a month. Right. And that'll be a good backup plan. Yeah. And then there's some other stuff coming in. I think James gets Social Security or something. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, probably that COVID. Yeah. That's that Delta I variant. Not or Super... It. It's probably, look the, it's probably a Foxtrot variant, yeah. variant actually, I, if I had to guess. You look infectious. But, um, so, you know, we're, 
I'm trying to have like multiple venues and then, you know, investments and things like that. Cause I feel like, so I did, I got some money from Danny Dine, you know, we had life insurance mm-hmm. and all that. And like, I look at that money and, and at first I was like, man, I don't want to use any of it. Like I didn't want to buy the land that God's like throwing in my face. Right. Like, Hey, this is where you need to go. I think actually land is one of the best investments anyway, though. It is. Um, I, I think so too. But like, I didn't want to spend any of it because I was scared to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's just reality. Like, I'm not scared of a whole lot of things. I was definitely scared at that point right. of, like, my future, my son's future. Um, and, like, I'm sitting there, and, like, God's like, hey, I've given you this answer. And so I, I eventually did it. And, like, I, what I what I learned over time was, like, bro, this isn't my money. Right. Like, this is God's money. And so if God wants it to grow, he can make it grow. If he doesn't want it to grow, then he'll, it's not going to grow. Do you Absolutely. know what I mean? And so like, I just like, here you go. And so basically with everything, the emotions, the money, everything, if you like, it's so much easier if you, if you can legitimately give it to God, like, and what that means, like, I feel like people say that in church a lot, but I don't, I don't feel like they ever explain what it means. Like what that means is like, you don't think about it again. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, now, can you do that and not have a relationship with the man at the same time? No. Yeah. No, that relationship has to be solid. Like you literally have to be like pursuing that relationship with God on the on the, on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. Absolutely. Um, like even considering like what music you're listening to while you're driving around because mm-hmm. that's like if you're if you're listening to Metallica. Yeah, I mean Metallica is awesome, bro. But like if I'm listening to that, I tend to not think about God as much. Sure. And that relationship dwindles there. Whatever you're putting in, is, right? Yeah. yeah. Whatever you're putting in is what's coming Absolutely. out. And and I don't mean that you can't listen to Metallica. No, I know what you're like, saying. Like I was just what I'm saying, a hundred percent. I freaking love Metallica. I know you bro. Like, That's I why I said it. it. Like, come on, ACDC. I'm I'm all in. Um, but like, what I learned is it was easier to keep my focus on God if I was listening to it all the time. If that's what the, all the input was all the time, and then like giving stuff to Him was super easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like everybody's like, man, you got over this pretty fast. I, I'm not over it. Don't misunderstand me. Like, but I, I'm past I think, the yeah. point of where it's like I think affecting. people are, are expecting, you know, yeah. and, and it granted it does for some people. Like it impacts them for years, if not forever. The and impact will, the impact will be there forever. The, yeah, but I'm saying the mindset yeah. can be changed. Like, yeah. You're you don't have to be in a victim mindset, or you don't have to be in a in the mindset. I, of, I, I think you said a word there. The victim mindset. Yeah. You didn't the, like that. The I think that that's part of the problem. Absolutely. Right? I think that I think people choose the full people choose yeah, people choose to be a victim with everything like, "Oh, look look what happened to me." Bro, I go to freaking like there's like uh, there are times when I think like I got it bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, which I don't. It's not very often because I'm actually very blessed in the right. situation. But like then I meet somebody, man, who maybe they're just going through a divorce, but like I'm sitting here like, "Dude, that's worse." Yeah. Like what they're going through is worse than what I'm going through. Absolutely. And like, I feel bad for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. yeah, I think the victim mentality definitely affects it. It's easy too. It's, yeah, easy it's way to, easier. It's easy to, well, I the mean, world tells you you're a victim. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Everything is, nothing yeah. is your fault. Yeah. Nothing's your fault ever. Well, I'm glad to have you on. Um, we've been going for over an hour. Have we?